that's the bell. It serves as punctuation to my daily motions, periodically letting me know that my time is up. The bell tells me that the subject is over and that it is time to switch notebooks. It tells me that I have to put my pen down and to move on to the next motion. Today is no different. If these halls could speak, they'd have plenty of stories to tell. These are the halls that we've lined up in, raced a class in, and accomplished group work in. These are the halls that raised us. It seems surreal that this is the last time I'll be walking them. As I now round the corner into the doorway of our classroom, I am greeted with empty chairs and bare bulletin boards. It's a strange sight to behold, as it was just earlier today that this place was filled with my classmates and the sound of their chatter. We've long been dismissed. It's just me now. Out of habit, I reach over to push an armchair towards the blackboard in preparation for the next day's morning talk. I pause. That's right. There will be no more of those for me. Not for a while, at least. I think back to our days in grade school, when we all gathered in the sunken area each morning. We couldn't quite appreciate it back then. We were just restless, antsy children, unable to sit still. As we grew older, we learned to find meaning in it. It became something we held on to and drew strength from. In time, we learned how to pray. I lean on the edge of the blackboard. I notice that the eraser sits just on the edge, askew. As I push it back into place, I glance up at the board's surface. There's a tiny smudge. I consider leaving it there, taking quite literally the proverbial idea of leaving a mark. After a bit, I shrug and decide against it. I wipe the little smudge away. The blackboard is now a clean slate. There was nothing particularly remarkable about today. I remember setting out determined to make the day count, since it was the last one in all. However, my sentiments were overtaken by activity. My plans were swept away by the hustle and bustle of the day's agenda. Truly, time waits for nobody. I take one last look around the room, making sure that all the lights and fans have been switched off. I take a deep breath and try to commit as many details as I could to memory. The late afternoon lights streaming in through the windows. The green plastic armchairs in their neat rows of eight. The white-faced wall clock that hangs at the back of the room, still ticking the seconds away. Finally, I decide that it's time to go home. Tomorrow's a big day. As I make my way down these stairs for the last time dressed in plaid, I carry in my backpack all that I've learned over the past 14 years. In my skirt pocket, I hold on to all the good times. Around my neck hangs the distinct assumptionness of who I have become. My heart races in anticipation at the thought of making my way up the stage tomorrow, dressed in white. Time's up. <laughs>